I'm back. I haven't posted a video in a while, so I wanted to do a really quick updated video about what's going on in my life. Um, because I've just been really busy and I haven't been uploading. I haven't really been even sure what to upload. So I just wanted to kind of get into what's going on. Today is Friday and I actually am graduating from college on Sunday. So in about two days, I'm graduating college and I feel like it has gone by really fast, but at the same time, I'm just 100% ready to graduate. Um, I think I have been ready for a while. I live like I'm not in college anymore and I'm just really excited to start my career and start working, whether that be for myself or for somewhere else, so we'll get into that. So yeah, I feel extremely blessed and grateful today. I get the day off of work and I get to go shopping with my sisters. I get to go get my nails done and just do girly fun stuff. I'm gonna go get some coffee. So seriously, what's better than that? I'm just going to try to be very present today, um, very just aware of what's going on so soon and just feeling, you know, all of the attention and everyone getting really excited about me graduating. I'm just trying to soak all of this in and, um, you know, not just let this whole weekend pass me by because it's so exciting. And so my goal for this weekend is just to stay present and to enjoy and to, um, you know, not have any bad feelings and just put out good energy, receive good energy, receive all the congratulations. And that is what I'm really looking forward to. So quick update on what's going on in my life. Um, I'm graduating and then, you know, what's the plan for after graduation? So, um, you know, just from being a YouTuber and being on Instagram, really my main goal is to be self-employed, to be an entrepreneur, to start my own business. Um, as of right now, I have no idea what that looks like. And that is okay with me. People are like, oh, if you want to be self-employed um, and start making money, you really need an idea. Well, honestly, it's okay with me to not have the idea yet. I'm putting it out and I'm praying about a business and becoming an entrepreneur and I know that the idea is gonna flow. The way I'm going to get to that point is going to come if I just focus on the goal. It's, um, you know, I'm kind of just envisioning what my life would be like, what a schedule would be like, what a day would be like. And I think the right idea and the business model and, um, you know, the customers and the revenues, those are going to flow if I get my head in the right space and ready to receive ideas and receive the kind of um, information that I need to start my own business. So one book that I have been really enjoying, I've been out of school um, just for a couple of days now, so I have been taking the opportunity to read and it is this book and it's You Are a Badass. Um, and I'll just say, before I picked this book up, I saw it all over social media. And typically when I see a book all over social media, I think it's probably overrated and not that helpful. But no, this book is amazing. Um, it's kind of like the first self-help book of the season because this is totally the season of transformation and of self-help. And if you are feeling like you are in a place in your life where you kind of like need inspiration or you're feeling really negative all the time or you're not enjoying your life, I would say pick up this book or at least declare right now, even as I'm saying this video, this is the season of transformation and of self-help and of just growing as a person. Um, over the last couple of months, I've been really focused on like school and on relationships and right now I'm flipping it to myself and it's not selfish and it's not um, like ego, you know, controlled. It's really just me saying that I want a better life for myself and I'm going to create it. And if that means waking up every day, um, a positive attitude, meditating, reading self-help books, meeting new people, etc., etc., that is what I'm going to do because I care so much about my future happiness and my future um, success that I am working on it today. Even if that doesn't mean that I'm, um, you know, actually physically creating a business as of today. So definitely would recommend this book. This is the book of kind of like the week and yes, 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 yes. Jensen Zero, you are a badass. Um, I also just finished the Oprah and Deepak Chopra meditation, 22 day meditation. And I will be honest with you, this is my, I think like fifth fourth or fifth time going through a 21 day meditation with Oprah and Deepak Chopra. 
um, and I still don't have the meditation thing down. So if any of you guys have heard about meditation and you're like, I can't do that, it's, it's impossible, it's too hard, I don't even understand it. Um, yeah, I've been giving it a try for a while. I see the benefits. I Sometimes I have really good meditation sessions, but overall I either fall asleep or my mind wanders and it's a work in progress. It's called a practice, a meditation practice, because I'm assuming things are going to get easier and things are going to get better. So I'm going to keep at it and this book also goes into more depth, but if you want you can look up Oprah and Deepak Chopra meditations and um, kind of look into it there, or you can get different guided meditations. I also have the app, and it's called Calm. Um, I haven't tried that app yet though, but I downloaded it, and I'm gonna kind of see what's up, because today was the last day of my Deepak and Oprah meditations. And lastly, just a quick word of inspiration and motivation. If you are in a point in your life where it's kind of like a change and a turn, or if you're in your early 20s, or even if you're in your late 20s or however old you are, if you're feeling like you need a change in your life, today is the day to say yes and get ready for that transformation. If you even just put into your mind that you want things to change and that you want to transform who you are, things are going to start just kind of coming to you. And I really believe in that. And so my words of advice, if you're in your young 20s and you don't have a responsibility, or if you're graduating from college, this is the best time in our lives and it's the most exciting time. It's the time that we can take the most risks. So for example, when I imagined myself graduating college, I kept envisioning myself getting a new car or just, you know, a newer car. I drive a super old 2003 Ford Focus. It's on its last leg. It has a million miles on it. And so I kept thinking when I graduate, I'll get a new car. So in order to get a new car, you need to get a car loan and you need to be responsible and be able to make car payments. And so my first thought was then I need to get a full-time job where I'm salaried. Um, and so I kept just having that thought around, around in my head, looking at cars on the internet, just kept thinking, I'm gonna get a new car, I'm gonna get a new car. Okay, sure, maybe that would get me a full-time jo job and get me a new car, but is, uh, if I kind of step back and think about what my long-term goals are, is it really going to work? Uh, getting the base rate right out of school, pay at a company that I'm not passionate about, working 40 hours a week at something that I don't care about, um, no. That's not gonna make me happy, and it's taking things way too safe and I don't want to play things safe anymore. I really want to take this time to be a risk taker. I don't have um, I don't have a lot of responsibilities. I have student loans, who doesn't? Um, but those can be paid off slowly over time. I have a super supportive family. I'm going to move back in with my mom to save all my money. I have you know a dad who will help me when I need. I have an amazing boyfriend who um, just always is like supporting my just like habit and lifestyles. Um, you know, bless your soul, Luke. But I think that this is the perfect time in my life to seriously make my dreams come true. And that means taking risks and getting outside my comfort zones and just having that mindset and attitude, not being afraid to do things, but rather taking action and being excited and thinking of this time in my life as the most amazing opportunity to take risks has really just opened up my brain and I feel like it's about to open a lot of doors. So my timeline is kind of this summer, maybe get a part-time job or an internship um, where I'm not working 40 hours a week and just to make a little bit of income and then to seriously exploit all my options, come up with the best idea and do be doing what I love by the end of this summer. So I have about three months or so, maybe four months and I wanna get something rolling. I'm passionate about this. And I think, well, I don't think, I know it's going to happen. And that's the kind of attitude you have to have to succeed. So my little advice for you today on this Saturday is to one, get this book and read it. Two, find some kind of like meditation or just kind of sit for a while and envision what you're like, what you want your life to be. Write down some long-term goals and just kind of get clear with what you want. And three, it's two, if you're young and you're graduating or you don't have a lot of responsibilities right now, take the risks. The safe path is not an option if it's not going to make you happy. Don't even think of it as being an option. The safe path is not an option for me and I'm in that headspace and I'm ready for some opportunities. So that's my little words of advice. 
Um, we'll see what happens. I'll start kind of putting out more videos as I'm kind of going through this process and sharing more motivation. So if you liked this kind of style of video, let me know. Or if you have any other questions, um, you want to see me talk about something else or talk more about this book or talk more about meditations, again, just comment, let me know, shoot me an email and we can connect a little bit more, but I really enjoy providing inspiration for you guys. So to more videos in the future and um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.